today I'm doing a video on sniper rifles and their replicable, how to read them, uh, the various types, the ballistic scope, the hunting scope, daytime scope, uh, mill dot, minimum angle replicable, how to read with your targets, I mean, yeah, read your targets with your replicable, um, loopholes, distance shooting, uh, how to read additional range finders built into the reptical, how to read the range finders as they are in as they are the reptical themselves. Um, and uh, that's about it. So let's get on with it. Oh, also, yeah, I um made a video about this a year ago, I believe. Yeah, a year ago, and uh. It was just bad. The audio was bad. Uh, the video was long. It was like 36 minutes and 14 seconds, somewhere around that range. And um, I decided like that wasn't a good way to do it. So I'm going to do this in a series part. So let's get on with it. With the eight time scope, mill dot reticle. Now uh, you can use the mill dot reticle to get um, to tell the height of your target. Yes, you can do that in this game with the mill dot reticle. Now say for instance, you have a target that is six feet tall. So that's two yards. So say from the top of the mill from the top of his head from the first mill dot all the way down to the remaining four mill dots all the way down to his feet so that would mean he takes up four so basically do it this way two divided by four times a thousand equals 500 or you can do it another way which is two point five you can do it uh, it's the same way I did it which is two times not 2.5, 2 times 1,000 equals 2,000, divide that by 2.5, and I'll give you 800. I will be leaving a, in the description, I will be leaving a, um, a link for the mill dot cards for in, in um, feet and in inches. All you have to do is just click the link and it'll download. You can actually use this as a cheat sheet if you want to. It's very simple. But also, um, you can do it a real simple way too that most people do in a video game is use the target reference point. Uh, for instance, you can use the objective as a reference point to your targets because you know it's the main objective. So your targets are going to be around that objective. So. For instance, say, let's say uh, the target has a Dorito on top of his head, an arrow, and it says that he's 116 meters out. But we'll just say that's the wall and use that as a reference point. That uh, center box right there, big long center box barrier. And mind you, also, I put a suppressor on this weapon to accommodate for the bullet drop because this particular weapon, which is the Chase Hack M200, ISS, is an official sniper rifle, also known in this video game as the SR-61, has very little bullet drop. And most of the rifles in this game, bullet drops is around 9.81 or 9.8.1, I forget, it's around those two ranges. 
I would have to go to synthtech.com to find out. They have detailed information on, on Battlefield 4 and its weapons. And um, this weapon here, I know for a fact the bullet drop on it is 6. And that's because I guess the developers try to make the weapon authentic as possible because it is a very accurate weapon. It is in the record books for long distance shooting and it rolls in the category with the 50 cal BMG Big Boy. So, with that said, I am using the suppressor now. I'm at zero. My, my, um, dope on my scope which is that data on previous engagements and basically data on previous engagement is self-explanatory is the, the data the information on previous engagements with your weapon and your rifle scope at different ranges and you must know that with your weapon that's why I said dope your scope because you already you should know at the range that your target is or his distance, you should already know how to lead, compensate, and so forth and so on. But um, here is the target 160 meters. I'm not zero, so I'm at zero meters. So I'm going to go exactly a. I'm going to put the mill die. This is not my aim point because if. All right, so if I put the aim point right here at the top of his head, right at the tippy top, it's not going to hit exactly at the tippy top. It's going to probably hit center mass or somewhere around the shoulder area or the neck. And, yep, shoulder area or the neck. So now it's at the tippy top of his head. If I want to get at the tippy top of his head a headshot, I have to aim just a little bit higher. About four mils. Nope, see, hit the wall, so I overcompensated. Now this is the precise range where you want to get a tippy top shot, head shot. Boom, right there. And you can see. So basically put the mill put put the mill dot on his face and you really want to get that nice, nice, nice Ooh. head shot. But now if I zero at two hundred and I put the aim point exactly the same place, guess where it hit? Above. Because the uh, zeroing effect in this game here for the weapon arcs the bullet drop. So basically it, 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 it pushes the bullet drop up a notch. So it basically, it, yeah, it, yeah, it increases bullet drop. So now I aim, because and also because the target isn't 200 meters out, so that's why I went above the target's head. But if I aim at the target's face, you see I hit the tippy top of his head and I hit the wall because that's undercompensation. I might as well go under, go over, overcompensating, undercompensating in this video so that way I can just get that out the way. And um, that's that's basically it um i will leave a link to the information the mill dot two various links because there's a lot of information on it um i will leave a, a link to the cheat sheet cards that you can download automatically click it and it'll download and um that's about it right here because really, you can't do too much on a test range. Because it's not that is it? It's not really too much of a long distance. I mean, I'm going to go here, right now. Up to this post. I mean, this is about the best way you can get probably about most of long distance shooting on the targets. Now you can see that there's no way to tell on the target ball. And that's because um, I modified my HUD. So I, I really don't like to have it the way that it was normally. So I like to have things small. So that way my, my field of view isn't cluttered.
was that's why I put the suppressor on because it's the best way to get that bullet drop. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to finish this video up. Just want to hit these last four targets. So, and that's about it. See you till next time on uh, the part two of Minute of Angle for the 20 times go hunter scope. And uh, that's about it. So keep it real. Keep it one shot, one kill. Smile cry out. Peace. Won't you spare me over and over?